They complain when it's snowing or if there's a drought. It's importance and need we need never doubt. Every day we could honor it and not take it for granted because there's millions without it that live on this planet. Millions more who walk for miles and savor every drop while some have a tap and can choose cold or hot. And I'm sorry to the water that I've dirtied and wasted because there's no greater drink on this earth that I've tasted. And I'm sorry to the water that my luxury uses up, whether it's gallons for tailing ponds or just one cup. And I will try to remember to never forget all the glory and wonder of things that are wet. Always remind myself of water's endless sacrifice because through this great gift, water gives her life. Thank you. Uh, I wrote this one just thinking about the destruction that happens on the planet we live in and well, I'm guilty of participating in the system, trying to resist it as much as I can, but um, some people here remember um, blockading the train for all the uranium mining that goes on and the tailing ponds that are poisoning the communities within this land and it makes me sick so uh, I wrote this. In a world full of concrete and things skated up, it is hard to remember all that is love. We build things up just to tear them down, forgetting that life is sacred, especially the ground. Some drain all the life from our mother, forcing dirty work onto our brother, digging up what is meant to stay in the earth, recognizing money as the only thing of worth, dumping liters and gallons and crates chemicals I can't even pronounce, carbon dioxide emissions and oil spills, devastating ecosystems as we kill. We want water and lumber and lots of gold. We'll dig up anything that can be sold. We'll do anything killing friend and foe, because fuck it, we need all the coltan from the Congo. Taking and taking and taking some more? Respect Mother Earth, what for? We want silver and platinum and pretty things, never mind about the destruction that it brings. Uranium, diamonds, gold, and limestone. Never mind those animals, forget their homes. Forget the future, the young and the old. Forget the warnings that have been foretold. Well, I do mind, and truthfully, it makes me sick. It makes me do what I do, and it makes my clock tick. Landfills of garbage and lakes full of waste. How much more time will it take? Time will prove that our greed brought us to this fate. No clean air or water, just plagues and mass waste. As our mother, our home, our gift slowly degenerates. And still, still we try to be brilliant. Nothing short of resilient. Restoring strength into the center of our base. Of our base. The most important thing in this life is faith. Sometimes it's overwhelming to think about it all. Just when I'm standing up strong, when I'm just about to fall. And just when I'm about to throw the towel in. Someone throws out a way we can win. Still there's a glimmer of light and hope, as if one of you reached out and threw a rope, making it possible for us to cope. Together we are stronger, and we can rise up together with peace, respect, unity, and love. Thank you. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the organizers, uh, everyone who came here today, and uh, she wants me to do one more. So uh, this is more about unity and, and what we face as a society and the oppression, uh, the effects of colonization and uh, I just kind of wrote it. Faith, destiny, and karma guide my faith. Kindness and love at the center of my base. If the whole world cared, wouldn't it be great? Justice and peace across the province and state. I have a dream, the ever famous words, now seldom lived and seldom ever heard. This doesn't mean it can't be my reality. We are all equal but not equally free. Freedom is not given when we enter this world. It is given out differently to boys and girls. Even more is divided based on your spiritual voice. And as you get older, there is but one sexual choice. Prepare to strip your freedom if you choose the wrong one. Forget about equal opportunity if you come from the slum. It's hard to be smart when we're taught to be dumb. 
I said, forget about equal opportunity. If you come from the slum, it's hard to be smart when we're taught to be dumb. Brainwashed by mass media since we are young. She's a slut. He's a fag. That man's a terrorist. Ignore the school of hate. Class dismissed. Speak with your heart and let the truth be heard. What is violence when I have the power of my word? So let's all just imagine a nice fire here, because if there wasn't concrete, there'd be a nice fire we could warm up. And uh, Dankeschön, thank you, Niawe, and Miigwech for listening. Okay, so we have so many people that run and express themselves today, and it's just beautiful. Um, I'm going to give a few minutes up to Michelle Littmer. Latimer, sorry, my apologies. Uh, she is a documentary filmmaker to um, Rise Up, The Standing Rock. Um, so I'll let her fill you in on a few things and talk about that herself. I just wanted to invite you all. Uh, I've been in Standing Rock since April 2016 when um, there was about 20 people in the Sacred Stone camp became, before it became the movement that it, we now know it to be. Uh, we've been documenting um, the, the occupation camps and the, the water protector struggles since then. Um, I, uh, we just finished the film about two weeks ago now. We premiered it at Sundance. There's uh, two films. One's called Sacred Water. One is called Red Power. And you can stream them for free. They were released on, on Viceland uh, last night. You can stream them for free. We chart also the uh, youth runners and, and their run to Washington, D.C. Um, and, uh, and, and you can learn also more about the history of the Chinese Kon Nation right from the 1800s and the relationship with the uh, United States military and the United States government. And so we're also doing a public screening at the Toronto Film Festival Bell Lightbox this Wednesday at 7 p.m. And uh, there'll be an in conversation with myself and uh, programmer Jesse Wente, Ojibwe programmer Jesse Wente, to talk about uh, what it was like documenting uh, in Standing Rock for the past uh, six or seven months now. So I invite you all to that. And uh, Jimmy Gorch, thank you. You know, I, I just feel so compelled to do a shout out for Standing Rock. And I want to remember all those people who are on the front lines, who took a stand for all of us to protect the water. People at the Red Warrior Camp that I was ho was able to stay with when I went down in September. I want to remember all those warriors. I want to remember frontline water protectors and frontline land defenders across the nation. Yeah. yeah, here we go. That's it. We love you. Black Snake Killers! <laughs> I've lost count of everybody right now. Um, in keeping with the spirit of our Indigenous youth, I'm going to turn the mic over to Crystal Rivers, who is one of our shawl dancers. And then after that, I would like, if she's still here, I've seen her floating around, but I think she might have left now. Uh, Shadia, if Shadia's still around. No? Okay. So anyhow, with further ado, I'm going to hand the mic over to Crystal Rivers. Sego, Sego. Um, I wrote a, a personal poem that I'm, I guess, in the process of reflecting on um, battling suicide in my community and my family and um, just grieving and, and praying over Standing Rock. And um, I just want to say a little tidbit at first. Um, I, I visualize like Standing Rock as like the heart of Turtle Island, quite like to a great extent. And I like really, I see that our people are sacrificing their lives. Basically, I feel them like we're kind of saving the government, the people, the nation from suicide. Basically, we're on a suicidal track right now, and it needs to stop. And um, this is a topic I've been dealing with a lot within myself, within my family, within my community. It means a lot to me, so I'd like to share it with you at this time. <laughs> it's called Heartbeat Screams. There's a screaming match happening inside. Sometimes I identify it as heart versus mind. I am reminded consistently of memories involving suicide, as well as notions of reciprocity. Sometimes being there for your family sounds a lot like static electricity. Sometimes resuscitating your culture 
looks a lot like cutting nooses from your family tree, dissecting the seeds and uprooting the weeds, all of which I believe occur within the moral fibers of my being. All my life I felt I was born with a sickness, a weakness I couldn't hide. No matter how hard I tried, inside, I felt there was something in me, some part of me I couldn't find. Like some crucial aspect of my being got left behind, or perhaps trapped in the shrine where I was hurried in line to drink blood that tasted of wine. Um, why am I trying to drink blood? Perhaps it was the martyr in me that chose to put that blade up to my artery. Perhaps it was the heart in me that chose not to cut too deep, just enough to leave a scar, a reminder of who we are and why we should never stray too far from each other. Respect your mother. Life is a gift. Cherish it. Can you hear heartbeat screams? The drumming, the singing, the loving, the sharing, the praying, the forgiving? What do you know about actually living? If only mind would savor the taste of water and honor our bodies, oceans, lakes, rivers, streams, pay attention to heartbeat screams. Pay attention to the messages that visit you in your dreams. The system is busting at its seams, yes, and that can seem scary. But mind, we need you to trust in heart. Guard our life by any means necessary. Water is life. I beg of you, lay down your strife. Here comes another flashback, please just let go of the knife, I scream in my foster brother's ear as I hold him from behind, gripping the handle, pulling as he pushes the blade toward his ribcage. My heart bleeds, my mind screams in fear, fear for his life, because I am all too familiar with the strife between heart and mind, spirit and conditioning. I too have felt the crystallizing effect of christening. Are you listening? When mind screams, heart bleeds, and when heart screams, mind sees that something here is not okay. We must hold on to hope for a better day. We must come together and walk in a better way. Heart and mind must come together so that we can walk in a better way. Take care of yourself. Cherish yourself today. Let the children play. That goes for the baby in you too. You were nothing but flesh and spirit when you came from the womb. Covered in blood, water and placenta, aura beaming rays of magenta, your shell was created inside your mother to house your arenda, your spirit, your essence. Remember that while you look to corporate America and churches for the purpose of your presence on this earth existence, nations wear thin, call leaders wear grins, people get popped for the color of their skin, innocents endure the weight of your sins, future gets robbed from your kins as we wait for your return from convalescence. Nevertheless, since you've been gone, Heartbeat continues to sing its songs. As your shell carries on, chewing and farting, consuming, polluting, oh. chattering, refuting, scattering and gathering, all that is useless. Yes. Your desire for money is ruthless. Oh. Your refusal to wake the fuck up is a yeah. nuisance. are like mucus that protect you from leaving your life in ruins. Lucid dreams prepare for students for realizing your power as humans. Cut the excuses, reduce the abuses. Heartstrings loosen as you focus on prudence in a realm of convenient destruction. Recognize and defy subservience to internal deduction. Dear Dad, I had a vision of you holding hands with Aunt Pam. You were children smiling back at me. As I danced in deep blue regalia with running water ribbons, I shed tears of joy as I imagined the image of the time yous were living. For a moment, I was able to forget the reality of the prisons that caged you two in. It was the sound of sunsets drumming and singing that brought this vision to me. It ran so deep, I could never forget it. Aunt Pam chose the quick way out again and again until she succeeded. I pleaded with her again and again to realize her acceptance of life was needed. With no culture to cling to, I desperately tried to help her search for life's meaning. The drugs impeded my efforts, but they numbed her hurt and subconsciously seeded acceptance of low self-worth. 
All she wanted was to find her free bird. And Pam, you are beautiful, you are strong, you have purpose. I know there has got to be so much more going on beneath the surface. If you would just do the internal work that needs to be done, then this battle could be won. All she wanted was to find her free bird. I pray she is able to realize her worth within the spirit world. Dad, I roll home to you carrying my luggage of hurt. Are you too high to realize what family is worth? Sinking low as I tug on your shirt. Dad, don't drown, I plead, desperately. Realize your worth, I scream at you subtly. It comes out like this. Eat your fruits and veggies, please. I like visiting the photographs you kept of the times we were happy. Every junkie is like a setting sun. You won't show me your needle, but I've seen the damage done. I've seen the part of it in everyone. Milk blood to keep from running out. You can find me with the blackbirds on your front lawn, weeding out the seeds of doubt. Shouting in protest until heartbeats victory is finally won. Heart Heartbeat screams oppose pipeline dreams when our minds bleed salty streams leak down our faces Defense mechanisms against the mace sprayed in the races Sweating out the dismay laced in the prescribed drugs that plunge their way into our veins Washing away the bloodstains as they remain on the hands of our oppressor We will not be lessened by the sickness that has riddled this corporate system Listening the heart is a choice only mind can make as your brain waves quake the shell you were birthed in, as fracking drills cut deep into the mounds our ancestors returned to earth in, and spray chemicals pushing our blood back up to the surface, milking it for money-making purposes, powering hearses and offering curses, we remain attached to flesh, hearts continue to beat in chests, grassroots make moves and progress, allowing us space to cut the weeds of hopelessness. Pay attention to heartbeat screams. Mm. Yeah. 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 I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for being here. Now I'll go up.